Hi, my name is Daniel Casey, and today we're going to be looking at a few of the other modules that are useful in Darktable. So the first thing that I'd like to cover today is how to bring an image back to its original. Let's say that you've made, we're going to take this image, we've made some changes to this image, and we're not really happy with some of these changes and we want to start over again. So I'm just going to show you that initially. So now I'm in light table, so I'm in viewing my images. So if I double click on here, that'll bring me to this image in the dark room. Now the first thing, let's say that I've already processed this image, but I wanted just to delete all of that and start over again. So you come here and it says, you really want to clear the history of this image and you say yes. And now we're starting right from scratch. So as I've covered in some of the previous um, videos, the first uh, module that I would be using is the exposure module. Uh, I'm gonna bring the um, exposure down a little bit for this image. Let's start here. If we need to come back, we'll come back. And in this particular image, I may not want to crop it initially. I may crop it only at the end because I want to, I want to bring some of these lines maybe uh, more parallel. And uh, this is in the perspective type module. So let's go into sharpen. We might want to just slightly sharpen the image. Let's write here 1.5 for this. And let's bring this one to 3 as an initial set. And then we can modify if we want to. Filmic RGB, we start in the scene tab, we just bring this down a little bit to this level, we just bring the black relative exposure up a little bit. Now we go into the look tab, we increase the latitude around 36 and we increase, let's say, the contrast as well to make the image look a little bit more vivid. Now, one thing that we want to that we may want to check with this is to see if we have any uh, blown out highlights. So we could come here, check to, if to see if we have any uh, blown highlights. We don't, so that's perfect. And what about some of the uh, clipping? Are we bringing our image in high um, exposure into some of the clipping area? No, we we're not. So that's perfect. So let's assume that we're saying that this is okay for filmic RGB. Now we're going to go to color balance RGB. Again, just basic, you know, general increase of the um, global vibrance, increase in the group, increase in the global chroma to increase the color. Same thing here. Put 10 values, put value of 10% for each of them, just, just for illustration purposes here. Oh, maybe I'll bring this down a little bit. Let's say bring that to 2%. Now, the next thing we want to do is in this particular example is we want to look at the perspective. Perspective correction right here. So we're going to turn on this module and we want to shift some of the vertical lines. So let's try that here. Uh, do we have guides off? Let's put some guides on here to see where we're going. And you can see that some of the lines here are not very parallel and we like to fix that. So let's fix that like this. So after tweaking this uh, slider a little bit, we can see that the lines now are becoming pretty close to being perpendicular in this area, they're pretty good in the middle, and they're pretty good at the at the other end. So let's say that we're okay with that. That would be perfect. Then we would click on here, and then we could we would go in the crop and the crop uh, module, and we would crop the image. Let's go original image here, like so. We want to bring this. We want to keep part of the image. Oh, let's go freehand in this particular instance because I'd like to keep the top portion of the image. Uh, 
like that. And I want to bring this up a little bit just to keep a little bit of the detail on the bottom. So the lines are, are vertical now at both ends in the middle, double click. And in this particular case, we may want to come back to the exposure module, but I mean, I like the shadow and I sort of like the highlights the way it is. So we could assume that this, this, would, be, this would be good. So hopefully this was helpful. And this is how you turn some of the perspective of some of your image uh, using the perspective correction module. And this could be done on some buildings, for instance, if you're photographing a building and your camera is tilting up, uh, tilting upwards and you'd like to correct that for some of your image, uh, that's how you would do it. So this is another example. So thanks for watching.